else over here, and we are following this breaking news out of Washington. Some serious allegations this morning facing the State Department. That's right. According to internal State Department memos, the agency might have called off or intervened in investigation into possibly illegal and inappropriate behavior within its ranks, allegedly to protect jobs and avoid scandals. This concerns the time that Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State. We want to get right to NBC's Chief White House Correspondent Chuck Todd with the latest. Chuck, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. You know, there's an old saying in Washington that the cover-up is worse than the crime. But in this case, both parts of it are disturbing. Allegations of prostitution and pedophilia and allegations that those crimes were somehow covered up or not looked into. So the State Department this morning is having to respond to those claims and those investigations uh, of misconduct by State Department officials, including by an ambassador and security agents attached to then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. And the allegations are that these investigations were whitewashed, quashed altogether, and that those orders came from high up. NBC News has obtained documents related to ongoing investigations into some disturbing allegations involving State Department personnel and at least one ambassador. A State Department memo says the ambassador, quote, routinely ditched his protective security detail in order to solicit sexual favors from both prostitutes and minor children. The memo also says a top State Department official directed department investigators to, quote, cease the investigation into the ambassador's conduct. It's just one of what another document describes as, quote, several examples of undue influence from top state officials. On Monday, a State Department spokesperson not confirm specific investigations. I'm not going to talk about specific cases, but I can say broadly that the notion that we would not vigorously pursue criminal misconduct uh, in a case, uh, in any case, is preposterous. A former investigator for the department's inspector general has complained to Congress and the media that the investigations have not been thorough because of the pressure from those high-level officials. We take every allegation of misconduct seriously and we look into it. It was less than six months ago that another major internal investigation painted Hillary Clinton's State Department in a negative light. That scathing report on the failed diplomatic security procedures in the aftermath of the Benghazi attack. What difference at this point does it make? It is our job to figure out what happened and do everything we can. As we noted, the whistleblower in this case, a member of the Inspector General investigative team at the State Department, she's gone to Congress demanding an investigation, and it's our understanding Congressman Ed Royce, the leading Republican in House Foreign Relations, says he does plan on having an investigation, and no doubt hearings are probably going to come soon as well, Savannah. But Chuck, where are we on this? Is at this point just allegations from one whistleblower? Have they been substantiated in any way? Well, what, here, here's what it is. The, the, the whistleblower says that this report, that the internal investigation having to do with how diplomatic security even investigated these allegations, that's where this scathing report came from. It's how the investigators somehow dropped the investigations, including into this ambassador and onto some other deal, including on, on folks that were part of security <laughs> detail. So the allegations themselves haven't been fully substantiated by, by us, but this inspector general whistleblower believes that the evidence was clear. Clear, but the problem was the investigation wasn't done in time to find out for sure if this misconduct was happening. Uh, more to come on this for sure. Chuck Todd, thank you very much. Uh, and we are following.